Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So I'm back with another video, just a quick thing on how to help you get the most out of your handheld device. This time around, we're gonna be talking about cheats. So all the systems you see on your screen here all support cheats for a lot of retro handheld games. We're gonna focus on the RG351P, but this can be used on the Retroid Pocket 2 or the RGB10, any of these handheld devices that use RetroArch as its backend. So without any further delay, let's jump into it. So first things first, you need to go into RetroArch. So my example today is going to be an RG351P, and I'm going to have it running ArcOS here. Now typically all you have to do is just jump into RetroArch. Now depending on the device, there's different ways to get into the RetroArch menu, but in ArcOS all you have to do is find the RetroArch section and then just start it up. Now the first thing to make note of is that we're going to do an online update to add the Cheats database. So you need to make sure your device is connected to the internet. If it's not, check out the written guide I have linked below, and I'll show you how to do that in an older video for the RG350 where I did it manually. But here on this device, just go ahead and go into Online Updater, and then select Update Cheats. This will download a cheat file, and then it'll extract it and put it onto your device. Okay, once you're done, go ahead and quit RetroArch. You're good to go. Now let's start up a game and see how it works. So I'm going to start with a totally obscure game first. Let's try this one called Super Mario Bros. 3. Now once you have the game started, just go into the RetroArch quick menu here. And near the bottom you're going to find a section called Cheats. From there you're going to want to select Load Cheat File, and then scroll down until you find the system you're using. Now just be aware that there are some extra folders you don't need, so for example if you see one that's named after a core and not a system, don't even worry about it. So once you find your system, you know, we're on the NES here, so I'm just going to the NES, you can scroll down through all of the games to find your cheat file. The easiest way to do that is to use the shoulder buttons because it'll go by letter. So you can see here I'm tabbing down to the letter T and then I'm going up to Super Mario 3. Now there's going to be several different cheat files for each game. Typically what I like to use is I find whatever region of the game I'm using and then the most simple version. So I don't use the Game Genie ones or the Game Shark ones. I just stick to the one that just says the name of the game dot cheat. So once you've selected that, it'll boot you back to the main cheat menu. Then just keep scrolling down and you'll see all of the different cheats available. And once you find a cheat that you like, just go ahead and hit right on the D-pad and it'll turn it on for you. And you can enable several at a time or just one, it's all up to you. So for example here I'm turning on infinite time. And then there's this neat one where it says lives double every time you die. So I'm going to turn that one on too. So once you've picked all the cheats that you're going to want to run, you go and hit apply changes. It's important to hit apply changes or it won't work at all. Now alternatively, you can go and select Auto Apply Cheats during game load. That means that every time you load Super Mario 3, it's going to load those cheats as well. So once you have it set up the way you want, go ahead and back out to this quick menu here, and go to Overrides, and we're going to select Save Game Overrides. That means for Mario 3 specifically, it's always going to auto load those cheats for you. And you're good to go at that point. So go ahead and resume the game here and let's test out these cheats. So if you remember I had infinite time and then my lives doubling every time I die. So you can see here on the bottom of the screen the time doesn't change. It flickers a little bit like it wants to go to 998 but it never gets there. It just stays at 999. So now I can leisurely play through my game without worrying about the timer. And if I happen to die you see here I have 4 lives but once I died I had 9. So let's keep dying and see how this works. I went to 19 here, now 39, now up to 79, and 99 lives. So just like that I have 99 lives. It's kind of a weird cheat, like it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but hey, it's cool, it works. So now let's try out Shadow of the Ninja. Now I talked about this game earlier, this is a game I had growing up, and it is super hard. And it has built-in cheat codes, but I don't remember them anymore. So I could probably Google them and figure that out, but it's even easier just to use the cheats that they have embedded in my system. So same thing here, I'm going to go to Cheats, and then I'm going to select the NES system, and then I'm going to tab down to the letter S and find Shadow of the Ninja. And there you go, Shadow of the Ninja USA Cheat. So I'm just going to turn that one on, and then I'm going to check out what cheats are available to me. 
So there's one that says infinite continues. I'll try that one out. Because if I remember correctly, your character only has one life before you have to continue. So it's pretty crazy. And here's one that says don't lose energy from enemy attacks. I'll turn that one on too. And as you can see, there's a ton of cheats available to you. So you can really curate your gaming experience using these cheats to really kind of tweak that difficulty for you. All right, so I'm going to hit apply changes here and then I'm going to resume the game. And look at that, I'm not taking any additional damage. All right, let's try one more game as an example. Let's do Zombies Ate My Neighbors. So same thing here, we're just going to go down to cheats, we're going to load the cheat file, we're going to find the system, and then we're going to find the game. And luckily, because Zombies Ate My Neighbors is at the end of the alphabet, I can just hit up, and then I can go straight to the back of the alphabet, and then I can just pick the game easily that way. So there's a cheat here for infinite health for player one. I'm just going to use that one and then apply the changes. And then let's try it out. So first things first, always go and save the cheerleader. She's worth a thousand points. You can always get your teacher too, but that's only 10 points. And so look at that. My energy bar is not going down. So it works. And I have to say, this game used to freak me out when I was younger. I don't know what it was, it's just the zombies and they just are never ending. It always freaked me out. So it's kind of nice to be able to not have that tension anymore and just play the game as I want to. And before I get a bunch of comments, yes, I used to be scared of this game, but no, I'm not scared of it anymore. It's been like two years, I'm good now. All right, all kidding aside, this is the end of the video here. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful for you, and we will see you next time. Happy gaming.